Um, so here we have a typical question seen in some workbooks. A Ferris wheel with a diameter of 90 meters rotates once every 12 minutes. At time t equals 0 minutes, a rider is at his lowest height, which is 2 meters above the ground. So we can draw a picture of this with the information given. Um, we have a Ferris wheel here. And then he's at his lowest height, which is 2 meters above the ground, which means that that would be so 2. 2 is our y value, or our height in this case, and our x value is our time, which is t, which can be seen here. Um, our diameter is 90 meters, but what we really want at the start is the radius. 90 divided by 2, that's just 45 meters, so we have that here. we got to remember, though, that is 90 meters plus there. Um, so here we have this. Uh, determine the sine equation that gives the height uh, h of the rider above the ground as a function of time t, where h is in meters and t is in minutes. So what we want to do here is we need to grab this value here. We need to divide it by 4, which gives us 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we're going to be pretty much each time it goes a quarter, it's going to be three minutes have passed. Um, so we have three here. Once it reaches here, this is 45. So this much is 45 plus two, which is 47. Once we reach up here, it's going to be, we add on three plus three, which is here. So we have six. And then we have 90 here plus 2, which is 92, and we reach here, x quarter, we have 6 plus 3 is 9, 92, we jump back all the way to 47, and then down here we have, it's pretty much the same point as this, but you've already gone one rotation, so it would be 12, uh, 2, my bad. Um, so now that we have our information laid out like this, we can make a sine graph, and this can help us with the equation later on. Um, so we want to take our x values, which is um, our time, and put them uh, on the bottom here. So we can have 3, well this would be 0, 3, 6, 9, and 12. And we want to take our y values, which is um, how uh, our height at the time and put them here. It doesn't have to be accurate, it's just where we can place them. So we have 2, 47, and 92. And here we can make a graph. So uh, it's just a sine graph here. And it follows the pattern of just, oh, that's not very good. Oh, well, um, yeah, and it will continue on like that if you keep going around and around and around. And uh, now we can write down our information after we've graphed this. So we have our amplitude, which is um, amplitude, it's max minus min, absolute value divided by 2. And here would be 92 minus 2 divided by 2, and that is actually the radius of the circle, so 45 is going to be our amplitude. Scroll down. Um, here's a sneak peek of question B. Um, after our amplitude, we have the period, which for sine is 2 pi over B. And B would be our 12, so we would have 2 pi over 12, which is just pi over 6, simplified, oh, let's circle that. Next we have our phase shift, and our phase shift, this is going to be t minus, um, because we're moving, uh, once we reach a quarter, we're moving up by 3, that would be t minus 3 here, and then our final one is, um, it's vertical displacement, but we or something displacement. <laughs> Super professional. Um, so our displacement here would be you would think it'd be two because that's how much we're above, but it's also two plus 
the radius of this because we're measuring from the center, so it would be plus 47. And we can just write out our, um, we can just write this out, our information here, over here. Let's bring this here. Um, so we have height in meters is equal to 45 sine pi over 6. This is our period t minus 3. Remember, t is the minutes. This will come in um, to play in question b, uh, plus 47. So this is going to be our, um, oops, sorry, our sine equation, uh, and we can input any number into this, and we can get a height, or vice versa. Um, I'm just double checking to make sure I didn't accidentally make a mistake. Okay, looks good. Uh, now we can find the height of our rider 480 seconds after he gets on the ferris wheel. Uh, because this is in seconds, we have to convert it into minutes in order to get our result. So that's just 480s divided by 60. Typically, um, I think that's 3. No, that's not 3. Is it? That's 8. Yeah, that would be stupid. Okay, typically these are usually written in seconds, but this particular one is in minutes so we have eight minutes here and we can input that into t so t equals eight um we have height equals this is what we're trying to find the height here I'll just scroll down a little height equals 45 sine pi over six this is our eight so we can put this here eight minus 3 plus 47 and before we input this to get our answer we can look back on the graph and kind of make a guesstimate to see if it is correct because here you can see t equals, equals 8 that would be somewhere here so that looks to be around maybe like 80-ish around there yeah <laughs> okay so um when you're solving this, you want to put double brackets around these because you're going to want to figure out what this number is first and then input that into sign and then figure out the answer. I have my calculator here, but if you have a calculator, feel free to do it along. Um, pi over 6 equals times 8 minus 3 equals that. Sign of the answer equals 0 0.5 okay so I figured out this much right now this equals 0 0.5 but we still have 45 times this plus 47 so we can have 0 0.5 times 45 plus 47 oh, I was cut off with my guess there but um, our answer is 69.5 meters and that would be our height yeah. I may have made a mistake I'm not really sure what the answer is I just put in random numbers but um yeah thanks for watching